Welcome to NHL Update. Today, I'll be breaking down and predicting the first round playoff matchups. Let's start in the Eastern Conference. First matchup, Washington Capitals versus Toronto Maple Leafs. Last season, the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with the worst record in the NHL. This season, the Maple Leafs are back in the playoffs led by a core of young players in Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, and William Nylander. The Washington Capitals were the best team in the regular season this season. However, they just don't seem to have the same success in the postseason. All eyes will be on Captain Alex Ovechkin to turn that around. He is looking for his first Stanley Cup in his career. This matchup will be very exciting to watch. It will be interesting to see who comes out on top. The goaltending matchup is Braden Holby for Washington going up against Frederick Anderson for Toronto who is currently injured so if he can't go Curtis McElhinney will have to step in. The key defensemen for Washington are John Carlson, Kevin Shattenkirk and Matt Niskanen. For Toronto the key defensemen are Nikita Zaitsev, Morgan Riley and Jake Gartner. The key forwards for Washington are Alex Ovechkin, Nicholas Backstrom, Evgeny Kuznetsov, and TJ Oshie. The key forwards for Toronto are Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, William Nylander, and Nazem Kadri. The X-Factors are Andre Burakovsky for Washington and JVR for Toronto. The Washington Capitals will win the series if they play just like they do in the regular season. The Toronto Maple Leafs will win if their young players flourish and Frederick Anderson is healthy enough to play. My prediction for the series is that the Washington Capitals win 4-2. The next series, Montreal Canadiens versus New York Rangers. This will be a rematch of the conference finals matchup from 2014. With a healthy carry price, the Canadiens will look to revenge the team that knocked them out of the playoffs in 2014. The Montreal Canadiens are led by Carey Price, Max Pacioretty, and Shea Weber. The Rangers are led by Derek Stefan, Rick Nash, and Henrik Lundqvist. It will be intriguing to see who comes out on top this series. The goaltending matchup is Carey Price for Montreal going up against Henrik Lundqvist for the New York Rangers. The key defenseman in this series is Shea Weber, Jeff Petrie, and Andre Markov. For the New York Rangers, it's Ryan McDonough, Mark Stahl, and Kevin Klein. The key forwards in this matchup are Max Pacioretty, Alex Radulov, Thomas Plikanich, and Alex Gachinyuk. For the New York Rangers, it's Chris Kreider, Derek Stefan, Rick Nash, Matt Zuccarello, and JT Miller. The X Factors are Paul Byron for Montreal and Kevin Hayes for the New York Rangers. The Montreal Canadiens will win if they get scoring from all lines and Carey Price stands, stands on his head. The New York Rangers will win if they get scoring from all lines and Henrik Lundqvist plays well. My prediction is that the Montreal Canadiens win 4-3. Next series, Pittsburgh Penguins versus Columbus Blue Jackets. This will be a much better series than most people expect. You have a highly skilled team in the Pittsburgh Penguins going up against a, a very tough in your face team in the Columbus Blue Jackets who have a Vesna Trophy candidate in Sergei Bobrovsky. The Pittsburgh Penguins are led by two superstars in Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin. The Columbus Blue Jackets are led by Vezina Trophy candidate Sergei Bobrovsky. It is always an exciting matchup whenever these two teams play each other. The goaltending matchup is Matt Murray for Pittsburgh going up against Sergei Bobrovsky for Columbus. Key defensemen for Pittsburgh are Justin Schultz, Trevor Daly, and Mark Streit. 
For Columbus, it's Zakarensky, Seth Jones, and David Savard. The key forwards for Pittsburgh are Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, and Phil Kessel. For Columbus, it's Cam Atkinson, Brandon Saad, Brandon Dubinsky, and Nick Foligno. The X-Factors for the series are Connor Sheary for Pittsburgh and Alexander Wenberg for Columbus. The Pittsburgh Penguins will win if Crosby and Malkin dominate and they got, get contribution from other players. The Columbus Blue Jackets will win if they shut down Crosby and Malkin and Bobrovsky stands on his head. My prediction is that Pittsburgh wins 4-2. And finally, the last series in the Eastern Conference is between the Ottawa Senators and the Boston Bruins. This will be a very interesting series to watch. The Ottawa Senators are led by dynamic offensive defenseman Eric Carlson. The Boston Bruins are led by Patrice Bergeron, Brad Marchand, and Tuka Rask. Whenever these two teams play each other, you know it will be a good matchup. The goaltending matchup is Craig Anderson for Ottawa going up against Tuka Rask for Boston. The key defensemen for Ottawa are Eric Carlson, Dion Phaneuf, and Chris Weidman. For Boston, the key defensemen are Tori Krug, Zidane Chara, and Brandon Carlo. The key forwards for Ottawa are are Kyle Turris, Mark Stone, Mike Hoffman, and Derek Savo Derek Broussard, sorry. The key uh, forwards for Boston are Patrice Bergeron, Brad Marchand, David Pasternik, and David Krejci. The X Factors in the series are Bobby Ryan for Ottawa and David Backus for Boston. The Ottawa Senators will win if they get scoring from all lines and they get solid goaltending. The Boston Bruins will win if they get scoring from everyone in their top six, and Tuka Rask is stellar. My prediction for the series is that the Ottawa Senators win 4-2. Now let's move on to the Western Conference. The first matchup is between the Chicago Blackhawks, and the Nashville Predators. This will be a very good first round matchup. You have a very highly skilled team in the Chicago Blackhawks going up against an underrated but talented Nashville Predators team. The Chicago Blackhawks are led by the dynamic duo of Jonathan Thames and Patrick Kane, as well as former Norse Trophy winner Duncan Keith. The Nashville well, Predators have a strong defense, a well-balanced offensive lines, and an elite goalie in Pecorine. It will be a very exciting matchup whenever these... Uh, let me rephrase that. It's always an exciting matchup whenever these two teams play each other. The goaltending matchup for this series is going to be Corey Crawford for Chicago going up against Pecorini for Nashville. Key de Defensemen in this series are Duncan Keith, Brent Seabrook, and Nicholas Jarmelson for Chicago. For Nashville, the key defensemen are Roman Yossi, P.K. Subban, and Ryan Ellis. The key forwards for Chicago are Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taves, Artemi Panarin. For Nashville, the key forwards are Philip Forsberg, Ryan Johansson, James Neal, and Victor Arvidsson. The X-Factors are Richard Panic for Chicago and Colin Wilson for Nashville. The Chicago Blackhawks will win if their top players dominate and Corey Crawford plays well. The, Na that, the Nashville Predators will win if they get scoring from all lines and Pekka Rene stands on his head. My prediction is that the Chicago Blackhawks win 4-2. Next matchup in the Western Conference is Anaheim Ducks versus Calgary Flames. This is going to be a very exciting matchup to watch. You have the best team in the Pacific Division going up against one of the hottest teams in the Calgary Flames. 
The Anaheim Ducks are led by the dynamic duo of Corey Perry and Ryan Getzlap. The Calgary Flames are led by the dynamic young winger, Johnny Goudreau. It will be interesting to see which Calgary Flames team shows up in this series, though. The goaltending matchup will be John Gibson for Anaheim going up against Brian Elliott for Calgary. The key defensemen in the series are Cam Fowler, Sammy Vatnin, and Hampus Lundholm for Anaheim. For Calgary, it's Mark Giordano, TJ Brody, and Dougie Hamilton. The key forwards in the series for Anaheim are Ryan Getzlav, Corey Perry, Ryan Kessler, and Ricard Raquel. The key forwards for Calgary are Johnny Goudreau, Sean Monahan, Matthew Kachuk, and Michael Frolik. The X Factors in this series are Jacob Silverberg for Anaheim and Sam Bennett for Calgary. The Anaheim Ducks will win the series if Ryan Getzlap and Corey Perry as well as Ryan Kessler dominate and they get great goaltending. The Calgary Flames will win if they get scoring from all lines and they get great goaltending from Brian Elliott. My prediction is that the Anaheim Ducks win 4-1. to one. Next series is Minnesota Wild versus St. Louis Blues. This series is full of intensity because it is a rivalry. You have a struggling Minnesota Wild team going up against a well-balanced St. Louis Blues team. The Minnesota Wild are led by Zach Parisi and Ryan Suter. The St. Louis Blues are led by dynamic Russian sniper Vladimir Tarasenko. This definitely will be a series to watch. The goaltending matchup would be Devin Dubnik for Minnesota going up against Jake Allen for St. Louis. Key defensemen for Minnesota are Ryan Suter, Jonas Brodin, and Jared Spurgeon. For St. Louis is Alex Petrangelo, uh, Colton Paranko, and Jay Bomeister. The key forwards for Minnesota are Zach Parisi, Miko Koivu, Mikel Granlin, and Nino Niederreiter. For St. Louis, it's Vladimir Tarasenko, Alex Dean, and Jaden Schwartz as well as Paul Stastny, who is currently injured, but he should be back. The X-Factors for this series is Jason Zucker for Minnesota and Patrick Berglund for St. Louis. The Minnesota Wild will win if they play like they did in the first half of the season. The St. Louis Blues will win if they get scoring from players outside of Tarasenko and they get great goaltending from Jake Allen. My prediction is that the St. Louis Blues win 4-3. The last series in the Western Conference is between the Edmonton Oilers and the San Jose Sharks. This will be a series that everyone is going to pay attention to. This series features the Edmonton Oilers who are back in the playoffs for the first time since 2006 and the San Jose Sharks who have made it to who are back in the playoffs after making it to the Stanley Cup Finals last season. The Edmonton Oilers are led by young superstar Connor McDavid. The San Jose Sharks are led by Joe Pavelski, Joe Thornton, and Brent Burns. It will be interesting to see how the young Oilers handle playoff intensity. The goaltending matchup will be Cam Talbot for Edmonton going up against Martin Jones for San Jose. The key defensemen for Edmonton are Oscar Clefbaum, Andre Sakara, and Adam Larson. For San Jose, it's Brent Burns, Mark, Mark Edward Vlasic, and Paul Martin. The key forwards for Edmonton are Connor McDavid, Leon Dreistel, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and Jordan Eberle. For San Jose, the key forwards are Joe Pavelski, Joe Thornton, pa Patrick Marlowe, and Logan Couture. The X-Factors are 
Milan Lucic for Edmonton, and Thomas Hurdle for San Jose. Edmonton Oilers will win if Connor McDavid's line can dominate and Cam Talbot is outstanding in goal. The San Jose Sharks will win if they get scoring from all their lines and they get great goaltending from Martin Jones. My prediction is that the Edmonton Oilers win 4-2. So that's my prediction and breakdown of the first round playoff matchups. Next, I will be predicting end of the season awards. 